wants is all she wants is all she wants is I figured, why not? <laughs> right, me too. I hope I'm not too macho for you. No, so far you seem wonderful. You have lovely breasts. That's the first thing I notice in a woman. Thank you. And you have beautiful contact lenses. Thank you. I love the timber of your voice. Soft but firm. Mm. Mm. I like your voice. Thank you. I love the smell of fruit you're wearing. <laughs> Thank you. My male lover Bob gave it to me. What? You remind me of him in a certain light. What? I swing both ways, actually. Do you? I don't know. I always insist on the lights being out. I'm afraid I've upset you now. No. It's nothing, really. I just hate gay people. I'm not gay. I'm bisexual. There's a difference. I don't really know any bisexuals. Children are all innately bisexual, you know? If you took a child to Plato's retreat, he'd be attracted to both sexes. I should imagine he'd be terrified. Well, he might be, of course. I've never taken a child to Plato's retreat. I don't think they let you. Well, I don't really know any children. You have wonderful eyes. They're so deep. Thank you. I feel like I want to take care of you. I would like that. My favorite song is Someone to Watch Over Me. There's a somebody I'm longing to see. I know that she. <laughs> da 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 da. Thank you. <laughs> Someone to watch. In some ways, you're like a little girl. And in some ways, you're like a woman. How am I like a woman? When well, you dress like a woman, and you are eyeshadow like a woman. You're like a man. You're tall. You have to shave. I feel you can protect me. I'm deeply emotional. I like to cry. I wouldn't like that. But I like to cry. I feel that men should only cry if something falls on them. That's a kind of sexism. 
Men have been programmed not to show feeling. Don't talk to me about sexism. You're the one who talked about my breasts the minute I walked in. I think I'm going to cry now. Why do you want to cry? I feel like you don't like me enough. I feel like you're making eyes at the waiter. I haven't even seen the waiter. Oh, please. Don't cry. I don't know where to look. Please. I feel better after that one. You have a lovely mouth. It's so, so nice. Um, thank you. I can tell you're very sensitive. I want you to have my children. Thank you. Do you feel ready in your life to make a long-term commitment? I think I should get to know you better. Well, I, I feel we agree on all the issues. I feel you like movies, rock music, jogging, quiet evenings at home. I think you hate shallowness. I, I bet you never read People magazine. I do read it. I write for it. Me too. Freelance, actually. I uh, send in letters. They printed one of them. Oh, what was it about? I wanted to see Gary Gilmore executed on television. Yes, I remember that one. Did you identify with Jill Claiborne in An Unmarried Woman? Uh, yes, I did. Me too! We agree on everything. I think I'm going to cry again. <laughs> I don't think men should cry. I feel that they should be strong. <laughs> well, you'd quite like Bob then. Who? No. Oh. I feel I'm irritating you. No, it's just, it's hard to get to know someone. And the waiter never comes, and I'd like to order. Let's start all over. Hi. My name is Bruce. Hi. Prudence. That's a lovely name. Thank you. That's a lovely dress. Thank you. I like your necklace. It goes nicely with your chest hair. Thank you. I like your nail polish. Thank you. I have it on my feet, too. Really? Let me see. Um, I think it's wonderful. You feel free enough with me to put your feet on the table. Uh, I didn't put my feet on the table. I put one foot. I was hoping it might get the waiter's attention. We agree on everything. It's amazing. <laughs> I think I'm going to cry again. Please, stop annoying me! What's the matter? I feel you're too dependent. I feel like you want me to put up storm windows. I feel you should do that. I didn't say anything about storm windows. You're right. I'm wrong. We agree. What kind of childhood did you have? Nuns. I was raised by nuns. They really ruined me. I don't believe in God anymore. I believe in bran cereal. It helps prevent rectal cancer. Yes, I like bran cereal. I want you to marry me. I feel ready in my life to make a long-term commitment. We'll live in Connecticut, we'll have two cars, Bob will live over the garage, everything will be wonderful. I'm not ready to make a long-term commitment to you. I think you're insane. I'm going to go. Please, 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 don't go. I don't think I should stay. Please. They have a salad bar. Maybe for a little bit longer. You're afraid of life, aren't you? Well, Your first I... instinct is to run away. 
you're afraid of feeling of emotion. That's wrong, Prudence, because then you have no passion. Did you see Equus? That doctor felt that it was better to blind eight horses with a metal spike in a stable than to have no passion. In my life, I'm not going to be afraid to blind the horses, Prudence. You have to become a vet veterinarian. You missed the metaphor. I didn't miss the metaphor. You didn't tell me you missed the metaphor. I could never love someone who missed the metaphor. So much have you committed. I'm not the one afraid of commitment. You are. Oh, try up! I was going to take you out to a fine dinner, and then out to see the tree of wooden clogs, and then back to my place for sexual intercourse, but now I think you should leave. You're not rejecting me, buddy! I'm rejecting you! You're a real first-class idiot! And you're a castrating, frigid bitch! Absolutely nothing seems to get the waiter's attention, does it? <laughs> 